I'm ready. <laughs> And it's a wrap for the 70th annual Eagles Cancer Telethon as the event took place successfully at Mayo Civic Center. According to the grand reveal on Sunday, the event raised more than $900,000 for cancer research and treatment development. The Eagles 5th District Cancer Telethon Executive Director Brett Carlson says this was all made possible by the support of the community. The people who have come down from the community to help us raise these incredible numbers. Uh, the money all stays in Minnesota. It goes to the University of Minnesota Masonic Cancer Institute. It goes to the Hormel Institute in Austin, which is an outreach of the University of Minnesota. And it comes here to Mayo. I spoke with the Telethon audience member and he told me it was amazing to watch the community come together like this. He says this is his first time watching the Telethon in person as his sibling is performing today. I feel like it's super cool for sure. You always see it on TV and everything but uh, my sister's playing this year so that's what brings me here today and yeah super cool experience, cool to see all the money being raised and yeah really humbling too. Telethon volunteer Shiva Gopta says he feels excited to join the community in the fight against cancer. He urges everyone to donate and be a part of the fight. I'm seeing the fundraising and it has been very incredible, incredible day, busy day today. And I'm very excited to be part of this. And thanks for uh, Eagles Club to do all this thing. This is a group effort. I have 150 to 200 volunteers that give their time throughout this telethon. They're the true heroes. I'm standing up here because they asked me to. It has been a very humbling experience, but I want to make sure that everyone understands that they are the true heroes of this telethon. Carlson says his goal is to work to the point where all cancers are treatable. In Rochester, Eric Min, KTTC News.